Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about our top three kettlebell exercises for golfers. We are talking about how to increase your club head speed because there's been a lot of discussion on this because of uh, Bryson DeChambeau and him adding a lot of distance to his swing by doing really good athletic training. Three exercises we are gonna do are going to be, two of them are gonna be lateral swings and one of them is gonna be a classic hard style swing. These are more advanced moves. You should know your basics of kettlebelling before you attempt something like this. These have some weird planes of movement in them, so you should really be good at all your basics before you try these. This style of kettlebell is what's called a soft style kettlebell. This is from the World Kettlebell Club, but you can get it from, you can get really good ones now from Kettlebell Kings and from Perform Better. We're gonna start in our rack position we are gonna to rotate towards our rear leg. We're gonna press out with one hand and we are gonna swing across to face the other direction. We are going to rotate 180 degrees, center 90 degrees off, pass center, and other 90 degrees all the way across. 180 degrees total rotation. We are gonna start with that rear hand, elbow close to the hip, push out, swing up to parallel, bring it all the way back, catch. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, back to center. We are trying to get that 180 degree rotation. As we push across, we swing through the center. We're gonna stand up through that rear leg at the top and straighten that arm out. Our goal here is to get our chest facing all the way 90 degrees off center, 180 degrees off of that initial direction. The second exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be a classic hard style swing. So, first exercise, all rotation in the core, knees and hips. Second exercise, pure hip snap. Third exercise will then have side hip snap, but more intense. For our two hand swing, we're gonna chop the hips back. We're gonna go, explode up. Much of your golf swing power is gonna be based on hip snap, leg drive, and core firing. The better we can make all of those things, the better your golf swing is gonna get. This third exercise is an outside kettlebell pendulum or what's called an outside kettlebell clean. We're gonna start from our rack position. We're gonna rotate that 90 degrees off to get more towards our starting position of our swing. We are gonna go down, we are gonna load. Arm will be straight at the bottom. We are going to sit back in our back hip, connect with our lat from that hand. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna pull and we are going to be extending and rotating that same side hip in order to work on that rotational hip snap power. At the top, you're sitting in that back leg, straightening that rear leg all the way out to extend that hip, driving through the knee. All of these are trying to get us to rotate better and integrate our hips into our core more and more and more. They are not meant to be exact replicas of golf swings with heavy weights. We are trying to look at the golf swing, rip it apart, and then find movements that we can do with commonly available weights where you can't really get it wrong. If you do kettlebells, you will have to fire the correct muscles in the correct way. You start really light and you would build up over time, but you could build up to a very heavy weight and develop lots of rotation and lots of hip snap core power. 